All right, uh, welcome back. And now being joined, uh, we're now being joined, I should say, by uh, the spokesperson to the president, uh, Femi Adishino. Mr. Adishino, thank you very much for joining us on the program. Uh, first off, um, I, I want to get your reaction. Earlier, I spoke with uh, the uh, spokesperson of um, the PDP, and of course, uh, simply saying that uh, it, it appears that um, the, the president has a hidden agenda by, by not signing um, the electoral amendment bill into law. You want to react to that? No, I won't join issues with uh, any spokesman of the PDP. We don't even know how many they have now, but I won't join issues with any of them. But, but, but then, just give, give us uh, what exactly? I mean, the, the president has clearly stated his own reasons, but, you know, some people have said, look, those reasons are not, um, they're just not good enough for him not to have signed the, 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 the bill into law? Well, it would just be a matter of opinion, mm. and uh, their opinions do not constitute uh, the gospel. It does not mean it's the law of meets and partial that cannot be broken. So they have a right to their opinion, but Mr. President has explained why that law is, that bill is not being signed into law. And we have an extant law that can still be used for the forthcoming election. So I don't see why we have the hues and cry. And the, the question, too, I have to ask you is, can, can we get free, fair, transparent elections with, with that law, the current law that we have, the extant law? We, we, have ha we have used it for so many elections, so many. And there's nothing that says it can't be used again. And uh, don't, don't also forget that the new law is not being foreclosed entirely. Mr. President, in his explanation, said it will still be looked at, it will be fine-tuned, and it can be used for so subsequent elections. But, but not for this one? No, not for this one. I mean, what would be your reaction to those who are insinuating that one of the reasons why uh, the, the president uh, d d this has not signed this law would probably have to do with the use of card readers? That, that, that's actually the hidden bone of contention in, in this whole um, controversy. No, but that would not be quite correct because when that law was sent earlier, I think about June, July, mm. card reader was not included. And it was the president who even pointed uh, to that fact that it didn't include card readers. So uh, the card reader, therefore, would not be the reason for, for the well, president. When you say card reader was not included, you mean... Uh, card reader was not and uh, was was not considered as part of um, uh, the the items now to be used for the elections because we use card reader in the twenty uh, fifteen yes. election anyway. Yes, but like, well, right? when that law was was sent sometime mid year, it didn't include card reader, and Mr. President was the one who pointed that out then. Mm. So we, um, I mean, for for you, uh, of course, we've had some lawmakers say. Um, they're going to override, they'll do everything to override the, the veto of the president and, uh, and what, what have you, what, what do you make, make of that? It's a, it's a democracy. It's a democracy. Each person has a right to his opinion. But what is good for this country is what will happen eventually. And, and if, if, if the lawmakers decide now to override uh, the veto of the president uh, would, would, would the, the president will have no no issues with um, using a new amended act now electoral amended uh, amendment uh, amended act now for um, the, the the next election. You know they have to first muster the figure before they can override it. Mm. Uh, so we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And you seem to be sounding pretty confident they won't be able to muster that figure. Well, we just cross that bridge when we get to it. But for you, what, what exactly is the big deal about this, this whole Electoral Amendment Act or Amendment or uh, Bill controversy? For me, none, none, none. Like I said, there's an extant law, and there's nothing that says that law cannot be used. And don't forget the convention that says that you shouldn't be bringing new rules and regulations to an election that is uh, just about 60, 70 days away. Well, but there's also an argument that, look, we've amended our electoral law in this country even less than 
less than six months uh, to the election before. Yes, it depends on, that. therefore it means it depends on what we want at a particular time. And you think this, this is not what we want at this time? Especially when you have the other political parties shouting that, uh, look, they, they, want, they want it amended. Do, okay. you, do, do you also know how many, how many political parties, how many aspirants, how many groups are with the president on the non-signing of this bill into law? Many people are, are at one with the president on it. Let me ask you a final question. But you, you look at the reasons that the president has given. You, you think that they're, they're very, very strong enough? He is the president. I am a spokesman. You don't expect me to say the president is not right. Oh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. I mean, I, I wouldn't expect you to say that. Yeah. Very, very, absolutely correct. And sorry for asking you that question. But let me ask you a final question. Uh, elections just around the corner, and um, the campaigns have actually begun. Uh, what, what exactly, what, what message now will the president be selling to Nigerians in the coming weeks and months before that election? Yes, he will be selling different messages. One, continue with a government you can trust. Two, continue with a government that will not steal your money. Three, be wary of those who ran Nigeria into a hole in the past and they want to come and, uh, and conclude the pillage and, and bury the country completely. Then, watch the candidate you are voting for, would you rather vote a man with integrity? And then, or would you vote somebody who is a shadowy figure, who has plenty baggage? And, and what do you say when people say, look, there's so much hunger in the land, and uh, they blame the current president for this? Who, who led the country into a position in which hunger came? That's the question we should ask ourselves. Because when we had so much money, they didn't keep anything for the rainy day. So when the rains came, it began to beat all of us together. But shouldn't we be out of the rain by now? It's so very easy to destroy than to build. We are in a rebuilding process. Mr. Adeni, thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, and let me come back to you here in the studio, Libros. Um, you heard some of what he said, especially with the issue of the card reader. You, I, I mean, when he was talking, I saw you uh, sort of, yeah. you know, shaking your head. Yeah. You, you want to say something? Yes, you remember that time, um, he was not the president. He was um, the spokesperson that said uh, um, this argument of card reader was not included in the bill sent by... Yeah, exactly. Uh, the very next day, uh, photographs and um, copies, scanned copies of the section was um, all over, you, you know, the news mm -hmm. that, look, it was included. Uh, and they, at that time, the, the, the question, um, the issue was um, the issue of um, inclusion of uh, Section 25, the reordering of the election. You, you know, so for, for me, really, um, let's, no matter the position we find ourselves, let's try as much as we can to remember history, that someday we'll leave that office and posterity will look back Absolutely. at the record mm -hmm. and then ask us how well we fared with such position. And not to um, look at what is happening in America today. Um, and not to oh, what the, what the president says it is. But, but right I still uh, just uh, just before I end this, I, but just before I end this, because I still want us to talk about this card reader. Yes. Be, because the whole essence is, um, I I don't want a situation where you know our audience are left with a wrong impression. The the issue of this card reader, we need to. Yeah, let me let me yes, let me because let me, you let were talking it about it. Be, let because me, I okay. have said you you said something. You you talked about. Underage voting, and I said, Look, for underage printing, voting they, and they, multiple they, they, yes, and printing. multiple term printing. Yeah. And I said, Look, those cannot be addressed. Let me give with you, the card let me not even go to the center. Let me use River State, for example. Mm. What happened to River State in 2015? At the end of the day, at card readers, man, they blame card readers, man, for shunning for resorting to incidents mm. form. Mm. Yeah. And you talked about accreditation. The electoral process, there must be accreditation before voting. Yes, it is exactly. those that are accredited that are allowed to vote. Yes, and wait, 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 wait. And the process of card reader is to actually identify that the person that is thumbprinted is a human being 
and is the person whose name appeared on the register. But a situation where you have to resort to manual process, it becomes difficult for you to determine if it is the same person that if it is the same person that is voting ten times. Just because hold, all you just hold on, to hold, do. hold on now. Just hold on, Libros. What what I'm actually saying is this, and you, you just confirmed it. Your card reader is to verify. Yes, if, if, and if verification I, if, must if take I, place before, yes, voting. before voting. If I got to the polling unit now, you understand? Yes. There has to be verification. Yes. Whether it's done manually. No, or, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Whether it's done manually or it's done electronically with the use of the card reader. Before the introduction of the card reader, we were doing it manually. Just hold and on. And then what, what we had happened? problems yeah, yeah, because yeah, we were multiple is, voters. Now, this is the point. Um, let's talk about multiple term printing. Yes. Policies. Somebody goes... There's a collusion because for multiple thumb printing to happen, there has to be a collusion uh, between the, the man who's hold on who's doing yes. the multiple thumb printing and, and the electoral official. Yeah. So whether the electoral official is holding um, the uh, card reader, it really doesn't matter. Now somebody thumb prints. You need what you need is you need a forensic examination. Now hold on to check that to check multiple thumb printing. The, the G, hold on, hold on. You don't have to wait to get to forensic. Yeah, but, Why don't you check it? Why don't you eliminate the process at the pulling unit to ensure that somebody we, does not turn print we, we, multiple times? We, and, and the way and the way Jagat did it was to introduce you a device. Check, you can check what, to what, say, what you would say is you want to check over voting. Yes. Yeah, that is different. That's over, what I've been explaining. Yeah, 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 over voting. If you have a situation where the number of, for instance, the number of registered, the number of results you have from a particular uh, voting unit, like what happens does not, reverse this. does not tally with, for, say, for instance, yes. does not even tally with the number of registered voter. That's that what I one. And then, if it also does not, the number of registered voter, if it does not tally with the number of, of voters that have been verified by the by user you, card reader, that is over. No, no. That is, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I've been explaining to you. That Supreme Court says that is not overvoting oh, because... Ac well, let, me, let me explain mm, it. Mm. The Supreme Court says that is not overvoting provided the number does not exceed the number on the voter's register. But if you now make the use of card reader accreditation a tool as prescribed by the Electoral Act, that now becomes overvoting. Okay, that, that's a different thing. That, then you're talking about overvoting. And in any case... Oh, what is let no, just read it. When, when you talk, no, hold on. When you talk about... And, and I just said something. You said multiple printing and underage voting. And I've just been able to, I've just been able to explain to you that it doesn't really happen, happen that way. But in any case, in any case, we've had situations in this country in the past. I mean, yes. We had it in the AKT elections. We had it in which elections now? During the 20... Uh, 2007 elections when we had there were several cases of overvoting even yes. when we're not using the um, the, the vote look the card I, reader. I'm not Which in was what led to the introduction of yeah, card I'm reader not, to I'm eliminate not, I'm not that, in that way saying it's. the card reader is not it's not um, it's not uh, an absolute necessity but what what I am trying to say is let's get a clearer picture of what the card reader does. What so I've explained it. So that people What's, don't go... Let, let, let me yes. explain so it. So the issue of ABC. underage voting, let's, let's just put that aside. Let me explain it. I don't know why you're holding on to this underage vote. Let me explain it in this <laughs> word, ABC it's of, okay. of rigging. What usually happens before now? Accreditation, manually. Ballot papers comes, and then the man is to accredit. Look at the register Absolutely. and tick your name mm -hmm. and says, okay, yes, you are DG. So what usually happens? They dump the ballot material somewhere and then sit down in one room and take the name of everybody on the register as people that came to vote. And then one person or five people sit there and thumbprint all of them. But Jega came and said, no, we need to also ensure that during the accreditation process that the man who is actually thumbprinting is the man whose name is on the register. And so they introduced a device that they call the card, the card reader, reader yes. and then did a registration that will capture your biometrics. Exactly. And so, during card reader malfunctioning, that area we were running away from, that manual process that led to the rigging during Maury Sewell's time, during card reader malfunctioning, we resorted back to it again. So you find a situation where you have 3,000 registered voters, a number accredited by card reader, 300, but number of actual voters, 
3,000. And that the orders were done manually. The orders were done manually. And so it takes you back to pre-2015, where six people will sit down in a room and Tom print on 2,700 ballot papers. Anyway, but if you, if you ask and, me, I think one of the critical aspects of... And of so now, you don't get to the electoral understand uh, tribunal. Paper. You're looking for money to pay for a sick expert I, to begin to analyze I, I understand these, you, these but, documents. I mean, however you do it, you still need a, for, you still need a, so, a forensic expert to... If you to eliminate to, the process at the poll yeah. to ensure that once the card reader is the process for verification I only... Like, However you Which do was it. what I neck I neck did in our show you do it. to you, say you look, we will not resort to manual yeah. accreditation however, because we know the problem as associated however with you it. do it you, you still would need um, I mean if, if if you have if if there was a case of or a complaint of um, say multiple thumb printing you would need a forensic no, but to be then, to but then if but in you, any case I, I rounding up, you, rounding up mm. if your pros, your the card reader is the only device for accreditation there whether, no it, whether it malfunctions or not, you cannot resort to manual. And so you will eliminate, first and foremost, that issue of people having to, to thumb, thumb print use several the times. Yeah. A form and then form. To thumb print several times. Anyway, but very critical if you ask me, very critical in this amendment is, is the aspect that says, uh, you know, the transmission of results electronically. I, I think that is very important. Very, and, very, you um, know, because it's not looking we're, like we're going, we're going we to won't have even, it in because this that, that would have been a very fantastic yeah, idea fantastic. because also another area even where review usually takes place be to between where results are transmitted from the pooling unit to the collation center. Yeah, absolutely. Figures are changed. That, that is that is so a critical stage. If they are transmitted electronically as voting is taking place, it makes it, makes it fantastic and because easier one, one of the best, monitor results. One of the best ideas INEC has introduced Introduced to is this idea of pasting results immediately they are counted. You, you know, the Arabi Arabi Shola in 2000 and, um, in 2014 uh, or so did it in Oshun. The moment results are announced at the poll, you know, they had uh, this electronic yeah, pay, board pay, and then you pay that were displayed, and so people could collate those results, you know, from different polling units. You know, these are innovations. Let's just wait and see how we we'll wait and see how the election goes, and uh, let's let's just hope it's um it's, yeah, exactly it's it's free. I mean. At least a lot of people. With the ratings are going to to be free. Well, we, we never can tell. A lot of people. A lot of people said um, 2015 was a, a very good election. I expect. I, I, I expect 2019. Why, will be why was it good? Because we introduced technology. Yeah. So I expect 20. So now, if we're taking steps backward technologically, then I expect then 2019 to be better. And then the president has said uh, he would do everything to ensure let's the so. election is free and fair. And so, let's, so let's just and let's and support we him. All, we all have a responsibility to support to him individuals. To also, no, I'm saying as individuals, yes. as, as voters, to ensure to that the, the elections are free and fair. Yes, to support him, mm -hmm. the president, and then also to query him. Yeah, when we feel it's not working, working the talk. The talk. Uh, and as individuals, let's not shy away from that responsibility. Yes. As a yeah. voter, it's also your responsibility yes, to ensure responsibility. that the process is... That's because that, that's, it's, it, it's the only time we participate in government. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's um, transparent. Liberal Sushoma, thank you very much for coming on the program. Always my pleasure. It's, it's a very controversial issue. So, yeah. I mean, this debate we've had no, back and forth, definitely. quite understandable. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the debate will continue until... Yes. Um, 2019 knocks at our uh, uh, door. Thank you very much for coming. Well, that's how much we can take on the program this week. We well, thank you very much for watching. If you want to watch it again, it's just simple. Go to our website, www.tv360nigeria.com. You'll find this program and lots more there. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash tv360nigeria. Do subscribe to get the latest uh, videos and updates on things happening around the country. You can join us on Google Plus as well. Is at TV360 Nigeria or like us on Facebook. The address is facebook.com forward slash TV360 online. You can also follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at TV360 Nigeria. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next week.